clocks puts this game in an overdrive. And they have to take our title sponsor's slogan, literally, win today. If you don't, you're done. Austria, they understand the assignment. They draw first blood in this one. Okay, what a finish. What a finish. And France got to clean up the defensive coverage. They cannot get caught up guarding the ball with two people. Well, AGF, she will throw that one away. Substitution is made. See right here, that's what I'm saying. If you're fighting to go over the screen, it's got to be understood by your teammate to not jump up and pressure. Austria applying some defensive pressure right now. Beauchamp doesn't hit it. Millipi has her pocket pick by the Fox. Robotin to Alexia. Alice back over to Fuchs. Robotin, that is a tough shot. And the rebound. Not corralled by anybody, but it is whistled off of France. So none of the the normal uh, cast, if you will. And Leticia Guapo and Miriam J. Kundane, Hortense Limousin. Limousin. It's not Limousin? Limousin. Limousin. There you go. Okay, fine. Bumping your grade up. All right. I will apply the lessons learned from the great coach, the czar. <laughs> And my French will be much better. Well, all senseis keep getting better and learn new tricks all the time. So Sensei Montgomery is no exception. So that's a that's a turnover on France. Moving screen called on Milipi. Boots Robotin. Galegiev moving left. Galegiev, uh-oh, uh-oh, she got the cookie back. She will force yes, it up. It is foul. Oh, wow. That was... That's a tough defensive possession because yep. France really had her in trouble. Uh, you spend 11 seconds giving your all, but then you can't be caught with your hands in the cookie jar. Get your hands off your opponent's back and hips. Yep. Easy call to make. That's where the whistle came from. And two free throws will be the result. And we got a 4-1 game. Mary J. Paj, she wants it. Oh, that is an errant pass stolen away. The stolen goods delivered down low. What's Fuchs Robicatin going to do with it? Kicks it out. Shimmy shake. Kalejiev, the Fox, puts it up and drops it like it's hot. Huge bucket. Huge. It's okay now, making her move. Millipede with position. That should be a bucket for sure. There you go. And it is indeed. France pull within three. As you move within two minutes, eclipsed in this game. Kalejiev, no good. Page has it clear. Ready to operate. Droguet past the defense. Droguet says Ole. And good thing for the French. They got called for a delay of game, defending in the half circle, because that was going to be a wide open look in the wing for Austria for a chance at a two-point shot. France with more experience. They've got three Women's Series wins, one runners-up finish, currently sitting fourth on the Women's Series this year. Austria have not had the same type of experience. What about the toughness in the paint? It does not matter who requests the ball, who wants it. All four Austrian ladies are going tough in the paint. Both teams bringing the intensity into this quarterfinal action. And obviously Austria is gonna have some, some extra energy playing at home with such a wild crowd. Netherlands will get the winner of this contest here. And after this one, two men's games will follow. Two and a half minutes in, Austria in possession. Kalejiev over to Alex. Uh-oh, watch your pockets. Nice. Dime delivered. Good ball movement. 
They share it like a funny meme. <laughs> and they score it on the inside. It's a 6-4 game, Alice. This team oh, is tough. Excuse Kyle. me, that, that was that, that wasn't Alice, that was Simone Seal. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? Ooh, tell us. We need context. You agree, you disagree, what? Well, I, I'm thinking that it's a little bit of contact with a lot of also lack of strength holding your ground. I would have let it play, would have let it go. Obviously, if you whistle one way on one side, you whistle the same on the other, so there's no discussion there. But one thing for sure, Austria is being lifted by its, its people. Oh. There you go. Brochon. Yeah, Brochon over. One thing Brazil, yeah. I've noticed, Kyle. What? France is having trouble figuring out how they want to guard two lady actions. They're having a hard time matching up and preventing people from getting deep position under the basket. And we've seen already out of the scoring provided by Austria, six points under the basket. It's, so yeah. it, it's difficult. It's just difficult for France right now. They got the, the offensive power to respond. But defensively, if they don't figure it out, Austria has no reason to stop pressing where it hurts. We'll see if they can correct those <laughs> defensive issues, particularly in the pick and roll, two woman game, eight five game is what we're looking at now with Austria in front. Pelletier sizing up Droguet. Uh oh. She'll get a handle on it. Futurova 10. Oh, shot clock violation. Did not get that one up in time. Oh, what a fake. Droguet says, where are you going? Not anywhere that ball is going. Can't follow that. And once again, once again, once again, deep position, you mismatch. Know, the Fox is going to the hole. That's what they do. 9-7, Miller P, she can do that too. Man, what can she not do is my question. I feel like Dr. Seuss, everything seems to whine. 8-9. Well, I see, I just did it again, accidentally. <laughs> Six minutes to go. Man. I tell you what, that, that bucket from Droguet that we're watching on the highlight provides friends with a great boost of energy and faith in their ability to come back in this game. Yeah, Jab to have had her out in Grot somewhere. Nice pass. Better Bro finish. Brochon. But Milipi, he's the X Factor for France. Oh, look at the defense. Brochon locking in. Kalejiev has to give it up. Alexia. And Kalejiev. Nope. Oh, long rebound, though. We'll give Austria a chance to reset. Got a double foul underneath. Paget will walk off that frustration. She felt, she felt like she was the victim. And she tells uh, her teammate, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it's kind of nice when you can understand what they're saying. Because <laughs> I would not know what the Austrian tell each other. <laughs> I never did nothing wrong. I tell you, you players always think that you're just innocent. Ridiculous. Good defense by Droguet. Ooh. Okay. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. 16 foul. Well, yep, you dropped the, hand, the arms. There's no question about it. 9-9 nine, nine game. Fair enough. You got to keep your ground, but you cannot collapse on your opponent. And Droge could not prevent her upper body to do so. Give and go special. Ten apiece. Austria and France giving us a great game, Kyle. 10-10 game is what we got. Fast break, City. Wow. Great passing. Quick awareness. 
You know what the key for France has been so far? Although right now that would hurt. Oh, and it does. Thank you very much. You leave her open, it is going to cost you double the price. You, you know that song, right? Mr. Bad Boy, where is he? Mr. Bad Boy. I don't know that one. Well, Mr. Mr. Backboard? Mr. Backboard. Oh, that's <laughs> new to me. Nice pass. Miller P. Those ladies play at a very high level. Austria, France, for a spot in the semis. Seeing Austria's evolution in the past three years in 3x3 has yes. been, yes. It's been something. They, they were not competitive uh, three, not to three or level. four years ago. At, no. Right. Now they are a real contender. I mean, think about it. You're thinking about France, Spain. Creme de la creme of 3x3 in the ladies competition. And you're out there. Eye to eye, tooth for tooth. Oh, oh. Mary J. Mary J. Paj again. Again. Look at this. Defense is on her, but she don't care. Nothing about it. Look at the arc on that two stroke. So I was telling you, the key for France so far has been Noemi's Brochon's defense and Milipi's all-around play. Milipi has done it all. Finishing close to the cup, hitting the closeout, passing the ball well, and Brochon provided such a great boost. Once again, another, another turnover created by her quick hands and activity. Yes. Quick hands and the gift that she got nothing to do with. That's those long arms. That is just genetic. Thank Mama and Papa for that. Brochon. Hey. Two piece, no biscuit. France leading 16 to 12. Pelagian. Yes, indeed. They are not rattled. Staying composed, but a foul on that shot. That is just the third on Austria, but it is a shooting foul. That's the first dead ball after the four minute mark, so we are going to get a media timeout now and one free throw upcoming here for France. It feels that the game has not stopped at all. It's like it's been going and going and going. Love the, the pace. Yeah, the pace is amazing. We better pace ourselves. So can you translate that for us, Kyle, please? What is that? I mean, you want to have real estate in Vienna, so when they're talking, you, you got to start to understand them. I don't understand yet, <laughs> but I will. I'm sure you will. And I hope I get some real estate out here in Vienna. Oh, I don't doubt you. Whenever you, pop, you put your mind into something, Kyle, I have faith in you. If you have a nice countryside property, four bedrooms, holla at me. Oh, you mean four because you have one for me waiting, right? Correct. Uh, yeah, you can come. You can uh, come. All right. I appreciate you. <laughs> well, bring, you know, you know you've been invited to, to, to bring, my home Bring already. the family, too. Bring the family. All right, then. Foxy, Fuchs, Robertson, no good. That's the first time that Austria misses close to the cup, Kyle. Uh-oh, Mary J. Droguet, high arc, not enough on it. Oh, Pajay, Pajay, shot clock violation, didn't touch anything. What I would have preferred for my F to do is to take that shot off that handoff. She had enough space, she's capable of shooting it, but she's being too patient and uh, leaves Droguet with uh, the impossible task to make a bucket being uh, Super guarded. Oh, that pass had too much heat on it from Seal. And the thing that Austria has not been able to find in its past in the past two minutes is that deep post position that made him so successful early in this game. Look at it. Both teams with the defense, the steal. And then the kick out is deflected. Leaves 10 seconds for the Austrians to operate with. They are looking at a four point deficit. Austrian men's team will be in action later. Uh oh, Fuchs Roba did it, is tripped up. Page very smartly lets that one go out of bounds. And will pick up a few extra seconds to recharge the battery. Ooh, knee to knee right oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. That hurts. That hurts. Page will get a rest. But she's a tough cookie, man. Mila P. Oh, just too strong. Mila P. It's like her arm extended on that rebound. 
I love the energy from Team France right now. Every time someone makes a bucket, you see four fists going up the air like one lady. Every time someone does something good for the team, everybody's cheering and giving love. There is something going on right now. The making of a potential medalist. The thievery. Wait a minute. Got a foul. Okay. Things are off the bat to worse here for Austria. We are under three minutes to play. And France is knocking on the door of victory. Three points away from the winning 21-point mark. Droguet with the blazing fast steps. She'll kick it out. Page will make the extra pass. Splashing like a bird bath is Brochamp. Game point, France. Seal whips it. Fuchs Robertson, easy bucket. France will let her have that in exchange and for the ride. Pache, see you Mar later. Mari J. Paz. No more drama. This game's over. 21 14, seven point victory for Team France. They are semifinal bound. We will see them lace them up against the Netherlands. What a contest that is going to be.